welcome back to Brews and Books. I'm your host, Camille, and today I have my 100 subscribers Q&A. So it's been a little bit, I should have done this way before, but I had um, a lot going on personally, and so I just couldn't do it, and I couldn't upload it. And then plus, I had originally filmed it, and then <laughs> forgot to take a thumbnail picture, so I was like, forget about it, this is rough. So I'm in a different spot. I'm in my living room. I've got a plant. I've got a picture, part of a picture. But let's go ahead and get right into the questions. I do not have um, a beer or a drink of some sort today. I'm kind of taking it easy. I did yoga yesterday, so I'm trying to rehydrate. Okay, so let's get right into it. So my first couple of questions are from a Jasmine. Um, so the first question is, what is your favorite beer? So I don't have particularly a favorite beer. I try so many and some, some of them are super good that I can't decide. But this year so far, I have found a beer that I truly, truly enjoyed, and it is by Independence Brewing. It's a brewery here in Austin, and I tried them um, for the first time at Destination Brew Fest, which was a festival hosted by Vista Brewing, which is out in Driftwood, Texas, which is pretty close to Austin. Um, and so it was kind of like... A, basically a beer festival so beer from all across the u.s plus a lot of um texas beers so it was really cool i had a lot of fun i went with my best friend and so she really enjoyed it i will definitely have to put up the little footage that i got it was just so submerged and plus it was like super super hot um so let's go ahead and get into like the beer so the beer is called um, Red Bud. It's so cute. Um, so it is a cucumber and um, I do believe, what was it? It's cucumber and mint, I wanna say. I do believe that's correct. But it was, it's a cucumber and mint beer and it's a Berliner, Berliner Weiss, Weiss. I still don't know how to pronounce that, but it is what it is. So basically, um, it's it's a sour, basically. And it was really good, super refreshing. It was probably one of my favorite beers that I tried at the festival, but as well, one of my favorite beers for the summertime because it was just super light. And the cucumber gives it a really, really refreshing taste. Um, and just A1. Independence Brewing, you did it right. So I'm glad about that. Um, so that's my favorite beer so far. Um, the next question is, what is your favorite book from your favorite author? So I don't have a favorite author just yet, and I don't have a favorite book. This is always so hard. I, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a very hard question because I haven't found an author that I really want to read um, or that I have read a second work from. The one person that I do want to read is Blake Crouch because I really did like Dark Matter. It was the first real psychological thriller that I enjoyed as well as um, could not put it down. So I know he just came out with um, his second book or not his second book, but another book. So I do want to look at that one to read pretty soon. So hopefully that one will uh, be my favorite book from my favorite author. I choose between the, the who knows, whatever. Okay, next question. What is your favorite genre? I don't have one because I have been reading all over the place to really figure out what I like to read and like the ambiance of a book and the um, character building. And I think that picking a specific genre can be so hard because some YA I like, some YA I don't, some adult books I like, some adult books I don't like. And I think it's for me just this realm of I'm just going to read because I enjoy reading and I don't really want to um, seclude myself to a genre because why? 
Next question. Um, most disliked trope. <laughs> it's not so much a trope. Maybe it is. But the, so I am terrified of the idea of going into space. I don't know what it is. Um, but space is this other world that sounds terrifying because we don't know what life is out. Is there life out there? Probably. Do I want to encounter this life? Because if they're smarter than us, hello, we're dead. Um, and it just sounds terrifying and being on like another planet, just terrifying. So I do not like books, space books that have the, I guess it would be a trope that, um, a planet is quarantined and then the crew has to go to this quarantine planet and try to figure out hey what's going on this mystery like uh, bacteria virus what's going on and then like the whole crew dies and then there's like one crew member who's like oh I'm fine and like they're doing a really good job of coping and then all of a sudden they go bat crazy yeah that's what I don't like because it terrifies me but I am interested in reading more space books, books set out in space. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, next question. Um, are you from Texas? I am from Texas. I'm originally from Houston, and then I moved up to Austin about a year ago. It's actually been a year plus some, and I love it. Next question. What do you do for a living? I'm a staff accountant, so, I basically the gist of it I deal with a portion of the company's money in terms of receiving payments to you know paying bills to making sure that the company is like on track and our bank and our books match in terms of like okay we for sure have this money in the bank does it match to you know what we've received from invoicing blah 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 so that's my job that is my day-to-day -day. I also like send out mail I check the mail like I love what I do it's a lot of fun it's numbers numbers don't lie they make way more sense to me than words do so a one I like what I do. Next question. What are, what, for your, for your goals, for your goals for your life? Um, I'm assuming this is, where do I see myself in four years? But in four years, let's see. I am hoping to, because I think I'll be 31 by then. I'm hoping to be in a home that I've purchased. I'm hoping that I will be in a home, married, traveling a bunch, and um, definitely in a higher position either in my company that I currently work for or at a different company. And I want to be able to still be doing my booktube channel and still be reading a ton more books at a quicker pace. Um, so I, th I think that's kind of where I want to be in terms, I want to be a huge plant mom. Um, I want my home to be covered in plants. Like people won't know what's furniture and what's plants. Just don't sit on the plants know where you sit. So I want to get to that point. So yeah, that's kind of like generally where I want to be. I definitely would love to work for a brewery at some point. Or honestly, I would love to have my own brewery and um, to own my own brewery. So that's a goal. That's a big goal for further in my life. But I want to do it. I, I also want to start home brewing. So that fits into my four year goal home brewing because you got to start somewhere before you can you know yeah okay next I have Capri from Capri's Book Island she sent me a couple of questions so we'll get right into those uh first question is if you could have a different name what would it be that's hard to answer because I really do love my name I would say I don't know maybe Phoebe I've always liked the name Phoebe 
that or Skylar? BB or Skylar? Next question is, how many kids do you want? No more than three. Um, and no less than one. Well, I could have zero kids. That would be great. Next question is, do you have a favorite flower? I do. My favorite flower are orchids. They are absolutely beautiful and I wish that I had some. I'm terrified of owning them because my mom used to have them um, or used to keep them and they'd end up dying pretty quickly and I'm like, and she did her best and she had a green thumb and I have the green thumb and I'm just really terrified that I'm gonna kill it. Next question, who's your favorite author? This fits into uh, Jazz's question. I don't have one yet, but I'm really hoping soon that I will have one. Very, very soon. I f Next question is, can you read in a bar? No. Um, not a bar where like it's supposed to be meant to truly like be drinking. Like if it's like a coffee bar, oh yeah, I can definitely read in there. What's your current fave brew? And I'm not sure if this is brewery or brew as in beer. Um, if it's beer, it's the Red Bud by Independence Brewing. If it's brewery, I haven't settled on a... Okay, I'm gonna answer this differently. Um, instead of brewery, I'm gonna pick a cidery because I do have a favorite cidery and that is Texas Keepers. Uh, cidery and it is out in South Austin it's my fate and I've been to two other cideries here in Austin um, Austin East Ciders as well as Fa Fairweather um, Fairweather is actually a lot closer to me and I'm actually going to be um, trying some of their beer there's beer their cider this weekend I'm definitely videoing it and showing you guys this tour anywho so Texas Keeper is my favorite cidery. It's out kind of like in the middle of like no man's land, but it's pretty and it's nice and it's just super quaint. I've taken almost everyone that I possibly can out there to, it's just, it's gorgeous out there. And like they do um, like bee tours so you can wear bees, like the bee suit and check out the hives that they have on the property. You can, um, it's, a great environment the food there is great and just oh, the everyone there is so nice and even the people that come in and try the ciders they're so nice they're so sweet i love it there 10 out of 10 my favorite cidery next question what bookish character do you identify with the most i'm just now within the last couple of months reading a lot of stories with black main characters and i haven't like i've been able to kind of see myself like bits and pieces in a lot of the different characters that i've read especially the stories um i recently read um monday's not coming broke me i was like oh i am heartbroken my heart hurts um but it was just great to understand the main character's perspective in terms of like your your friend is gone no one's giving you straight answers because that was me um in grade school like elementary i had this best friend we hung out all the time her name was Paige. i remember her name i don't remember her last name which is sad and i can't find her in any of my yearbooks or any pictures and it's super frustrating but she was my best friend and so i remember a time where i was passing the old elementary that we went to and, and i'm passing by it and i'm asking my mom i was like mom what happened to you Paige? like like my best friend she's gone and like i'm fairly older at this point almost into um junior high and i just break down in the car crying and i'm like mom I'm never gonna see her again and all I want to do is be her friend and it was tough so that definitely hit home for me um with one Monday's not coming because I was like I don't have that friend anymore and she's <laughs> Paige is not coming 
And so it was rough. It was really, really rough, but it was really good read. So that's kind of, I kind of, um, resonated with the main character there. Next question. And I do believe the last question. Um, actually I have one more question request. It's kind of input. Um, but the last question here is what's your nickname? I have many nicknames. I prefer to be called no nicknames. I tend to just like Camille, but a lot of people call me Cammy, um, Chameleonaire, Chameleon, Chamomile, a Millie, you name it. That's my nickname. Fun stuff. The last input question by someone um, is what is my middle name? It's Victoria. The more you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so overwhelmed and grateful for each and every one of you who has watched my videos, who has taken the time to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm just super excited for what the future holds, especially with this channel. And I'm just, I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. So, 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 so much. If you have any questions for me outside of these, uh, please leave them down below. You can catch me on Twitter. I'm frequent there pretty often. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see all of this lovely content, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, cheers to beer and cheers to books. Bye y'all.